Hi guys, uh, so this is my review for Season 8, Episode 13, Freedom. I really don't have too much to say about this one. Uh, it's interesting because uh, when I watch an episode for the first time, I take notes for these, uh, to do these reviews, and, and you know, sometimes I'll have a page, sometimes I'll have three quarters of a page, sometimes I'll have a page and a half. Uh, in this case, I had like four things written down. For whatever reason, it just, it didn't generate a lot of uh, chatter in my mind. I just kind of watched it and it was okay, and it was fun. The B story was okay. You know, you start out with the blow up doll and you end with the cute kid. It was a uh, good. Um, I, you know, there were some funny parts. I like the scene with uh, Tony and Ziva in the bar. That was cool. When the guy was like, "I know a bickering couple when I hear one." That was funny because you know, I don't know if they. I've read a lot of fan fiction, so my mind has become muddled, but I know a lot in fanfic that'll happen. It's almost a cliche. I think it, I think it might have happened in canon. Not sure, but they do come off very couple-y. Because I like to think that they'll go to, like, the Elliot and Olivia place, which, in my opinion, is, like, they're as close as married people, but they're not, like, doing it. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how I see Tony and Z, but they're, like, married without benefits. One thing, though, about the Beast story that I have a complaint about is that McGee... Didn't McGee have his identity stolen before? There's an episode, it's like maybe season five, but it's it's a while ago and this girl steals his credit card information and like does it for fun and like racks up some debt and Abby has that great line, it's like love means never having to read her, her Miranda rights. I don't know, but if I remember correctly, in this episode they don't actually mention that, even though it's it's sort of similar. She didn't really steal his identity, she just kind of stole his credit card. It might not be the same thing, but I still kind of would have appreciated a little, you know, someone stole my credit card again, or I can't believe this is happening again. I don't think there was anything like that, and I think that that would have been cool, because I remembered it. Um, the A story was good. Like, I was with it, and I followed the case, so it was a good case. It was just, it wasn't a spectacular episode for me. It was a good, solid NCIS episode, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really that interesting. Like, as I was watching it, I wasn't, I played a lot of free cell. It's, it's like, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, it wasn't really that great, but it wasn't really that bad. It was like a good, like, it was a filler episode. It was a good, like, filler episode. Uh, well, the two scenes that I found the most interesting was when Ducky um, tells Gibbs that he should uh, send Ziva on the mission to see if she can get the wife to open up slash confess to the murder um, because they kind of share the same issues. And then the scene following it where Ziva confronts the woman. Um, I can't decide if I like it or not. Like, on, on one side it's like, yes, you know, mentions of Ziva and her issues and possibly Somalia, and, you know, it's not a bad scene, Cody rocks, but on the other side it's like, it's almost like there's Gibbs and he's like a Pokemaster, right? And then he has like Tony and McGee and Ziva and all of them and his team are like, his Pokemon, it's like, okay, you know, I choose you, Ziva, and I want you to use a combination of big sad brown eyes and tragic past to achieve this part of the case and it's okay I think I lost like 10 of you uh, I'm sorry but you know it's like I would have appreciated the scene when Gibbs asked Siva to do this I can see why they skipped over it because I think it'd be a weird scene for Gibbs to be like um see you know that stuff that happened to you yeah we're gonna use that although when I was watching it I'm like is she talking about Somalia or is she talking about her father or both because, like, her father kind of controlled her and lied to her and manipulated her, but, um, the whole shebang that happened in Somalia, it's probably what they're referring to. So yay for reference to Somalia. I feel like a lot of stuff happened to Ziva, and we haven't really delved into half of it, so maybe the psychiatrist in the next episode will kind of get into some of that. So I don't know if I'm troubled by the whole Gibbs, like, using Ziva almost, because I don't think it's intended like that. I didn't really feel angry, I was just kind of like, that's a little random. Um, so I should probably try to wrap this up because I've pretty much had no script and just been rambling for about seven minutes. Um, but I'm gonna give it 2.5 out of a possible five calf pals. I'm rating calf pals now, I just, I just, I just want to. Just uh, to sum it all up, it was an okay episode. Uh, there was nothing I really loved about it. There was nothing I hated about it. So it's just right in that middle. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in Autopsy.